we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. We're going to lift up the model prayer right now before yes. we hear from our speaker. Let's yes. all together at home, you talk to us right now. You talk to the Lord right now with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Okay, I want to introduce our first speaker. And Pat, we'll be yes. back up again in a little yes. while okay. and talk some more. But not, be sure and uh, call this number here now. Right. 770 300 Nine eight two eight, and if you're out of the viewing area, area here, uh -huh. it's one eight hundred eight one zero five nine five zero. And email? How can they email us, Betty? Email us at prayer, prayer at, at watc dot tv. So be sure and do that, okay? Amen. Uh, introduce our special guest. Yes, I am so proud to have. Come on up here, my dear brother. I am so blessed to have you here with us. This is, I'm going to call you Dr. Melvin Clout. My uh, initials are MD. MD. Well, that makes you a doctor then. <laughs> maybe of medicine and maybe of the Lord's work, whatever. I am so proud to have known this man. He didn't remember me because I was just a teenager when you came to Livonia, Georgia with your family. They traveled all over <clears throat> the United States and... Uh, sung the gospel your mom and dad were such wonderful people they've gone on to be with the lord and some of your family have already gone but you are still here melvin and look what you are doing at your age you have a 85 i don't believe it 85 years old i can't believe it and you are still you have your own tv program here at tv 57 it's called keep on just, singing just, just keep, keep on just singing. keep singing and uh, Sunday on, afternoons at 3 o'clock. Sunday at 3. You're host, the, host and producer. That's right. Well, I know that the Lord has given you a word for us this morning. We're going to let you have it now. And God bless you. Well, thank you, Betty. Uh, prayer is simple. Many times we complicate it with a lot of uh, things. But if, if you can talk to your best friend, if you can communicate with your best friend, then you can communicate with God, your creator, because he is your best friend. But you have to accept Christ as your personal savior. Now, a scripture that has been very close to me is uh, found in 1 John 5, 14 and 15. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And knowing that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Now, what is God's will for your life? Well, uh, it's his will that none should perish, that all should come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. It's his will that if we accept Christ as our personal Savior, not only would we be saved, but our whole household. Think of that. That promise is his will. Uh, his will says that he's greater in, in us than he that is in the world. Uh, it's his will that all things through Christ which strengtheneth us, we can do all things. By his stripes we are healed. He will give us the very desires of our heart. He's promised to prosper us, keep us in good health, even as our souls prosper. In this case, we're praying for our nation. Our nation was built on biblical principles. Uh, every facet of the life when this country was developed, was based on biblical principles. Uh, the textbooks, our early textbooks in the schools that we had, well, one of the textbooks was the Bible. Everybody that's placed into authority, they place their right hand on the Bible. 
and they expect to uphold the laws of this nation. Now, I want to read from uh, 2 Chronicles uh, 7, 14, and 15, and uh, this, this has been quoted so many times that it, I, I, I sometimes think that it loses its effectiveness because we have reached a point where we don't pay any attention to it. But uh, 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, if my people, now that's a very possessive term, if my people, which are called by my name, if you are called a Christian, you say you're a Christian, you've accepted Christ as your personal savior, then you are called by his name. And then shall humble themselves and pray. Now the premise of, the, uh, of this day is that uh, we would humble ourselves through prayer and fasting. And then that we seek his face and turn from their wicked ways. Now, one of the things, it's very interesting to me uh, that the Lord calls us his people. We're called by his name. And then he comes around and he says, if, if we turn from our wicked ways. Now, that shows us the compassion and the love that the Lord has his patience, his endurance, that shows that he, he even accepts his people when they're wicked. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their line. Now, now the next 15, 16, 17, and 18 verses of that tells us how we are blessed if we humble ourselves and turn from our wicked ways. It tells us how we are blessed by what we are doing in relationship to humbling ourselves and asking the Lord to heal our land. But then when we get down to verse 19, but it says, but if ye turn away and forsake my statutes, in other words, if we don't obey his commandments and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them. And we are in a point now where man is just about worshiping everything. Uh -huh. They're worshiping animals. Uh -huh. They're worshiping vehicles. Uh -huh. uh, they're worship, worshiping status. Uh, everything that they're doing now, they're worshiping something other than the Lord. And then he says in verse 20, if we don't obey them, and we don't turn from our wicked ways, then will I pluck them up by the works of my hand which I have given them, and this house which I have sanctified for my name will I cast out of my sight and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. Now that's the crossword. That's the, the road that this nation is traveling now. We have forsaken our creator. We have, uh, we have made a mockery of the Bible. We've removed Bibles. Uh, the attack of Satan on Christ's people is, I've never seen a time that uh, we're in right now where God is saying, look, Today is a day of salvation. Amen. If you don't obey my laws, if you don't obey my premises, then I will pluck you out. And so what we need to do, if you believe in prayer, if you believe in prayer, then you need to obey his commandments. But Hebrews eleven six 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if you want something from the Lord, if you want answers to your prayers, then one of the things that you have to do, you have to work by faith. Now, we're, 
we're living in a day where uh, the spirit of positivity has taken over faith, the faith process. Mm -hmm. If you're positive in your thinking mm -hmm. and uh, you believe in your own abilities <laughs> because God has ordained you before the foundation of the world, he's ordained you for a purpose. Mm -hmm. That purpose is to serve him. Even from your mother's womb, God ordained you for a purpose. Now, you can either take up the process of the first Adam, which, uh, which, which was to do all things in a physical manner, or you can take up the banner of, of the second Adam, which is Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And this second Adam, who came in, in uh, the first Adam came uh, in a perfect state of this, of this natural way, the world. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. But the first Adam was perfect in everything he did. But he was born not to sin, but when temptation came, he did sin. The second Adam came in the flesh, in a sin nature, that he might feel everything that we would take, the sin of all of us, whatever that sin is, upon his shoulders. And when he was tempted, he did not sin. The first Adam was created not to sin, but he did sin. The second Adam was created in a sin nature. When he was tempted to sin, he did not sin. So what we need to do is understand fully our fleshly desires. All of us, every day we are confronted, whether it be on TV, through advertising, uh, on Facebook, the vulgarity that, is, that has come to our nation now where nothing seems to be done in secret anymore. Everything is open to the minds, to infiltrate our minds, and so, uh, this then John first John five fourteen fifteen becomes very important to us, and this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us, and knowing that He hears whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire. Now the emphasis today is to pray for our nation. Our nation is uh, at a crossroads. It's, it's at the point now where we can, we can either pray that God heal our land or we can forsake that commandment and not pray for the land. How important is this nation to you? How important is the freedom and the liberty that we have? How important is that to you? How important is for our grandchildren, our children, our great-grandchildren, how important is it to you that this nation continue to be? And I think of that, I think of that song, America the Beautiful. God has shed his grace on thee. And this was a premise of this country when it was developed. America the Beautiful. God has shed his grace on thee. We need to remember that, that the very premise of this nation was built on a biblical concept. Now, Betty, I've kind of gone around the world to come back to the importance of this day, the importance that we understand fully and completely what God not only has done for us as individuals, but also what he has done for this nation. And it's very important right now that we, that we pray for our nation. And let's just take a time right now that we ask God that we uplift those that are carrying the banner, our service people. That, and I, I got a, a, an email from a, a young lady, Marissa, that uh, her husband has passed in the line of duty and they're having his memorial service the 12th of this month. 
And we need to remember all of those who protect us. And let's just say a little prayer, Father, at this time. Father, we just thank you that we as individuals, we who are called by your name, that we stand, stand steadfast in the way of the Lord, that we encourage other people. And Father, I remember back when I was born uh, in 1933 that the doctor said I would not live to be a, a year old. And my Indian people on my Indian reservation would not believe that. And they laid hands on me. Your healing process, Father. And 85 years later, now I'm standing here as an example. I had, I had nothing to do with it. But people surrounded me with prayer. Pray for those who need prayer today. Uplift them. And God will bless you. Not only you but your whole household. Betty, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to be here to participate with you. Yes. And uh, encourage people. That was great. That we have to. I, I we really, must really was touched by that. Because for our nation. That was from your heart. And, and you do this on your program, too. You, you do that very same thing of sharing your passion for not only America, but for the nations of the world. And that's what we're here for today. We're here in the National Day of Prayer to pray for our nation. And that's what just what you did right then. Thank you so much. Now, I want to encourage you, those of you that are watching, some of you have called here many times before, but I want you to do a favor for me right now, and I want you to call at least five people that you know, your friends or your family. Call five people and tell them what is happening right here in the prayer room of WATC, TV 57, right here in Norcross, Georgia. We want you to let your people know that there's prayer going up all day long here today. And we want them to be a part, them to call in their prayer request. That number, I want you to write it down so you won't forget as you call the people. Write it down right now, 770-300-9828. And those of you that are watching from the mountains, all my friends up there in the mountains and down to the sea, everywhere that you are watching us from, you can call the number right now, one 800 810-5950 and that doesn't cost you anything uh, on your cell phone or on your landline that 800 number is free so uh, pick up the phone right now and call because we've got people right here that have traveled and have gone through the traffic this morning and they are are here to pray with you and uh, oh my god that, that I'm, I'm gonna say that uh, scripture over and over again Call on me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things that you know it's not. I tell you what, I, Brother Leroy, I am ready for that, aren't you? I am ready for the Lord to tell me what I don't know. You know what? You know in, in, in Proverbs 3 and 5, he says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lay not unto our mind, that's for sure not my mind. Lay not unto my mind. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Now, how is he going to direct your path? He is going to get you going on things you do not know. Right. Things are going to happen. You can say, how in the world could that happen? It's going to happen because God's made it happen. He is directing your path, and he is going to lead and, and continue to do that, show you things you do not know. All right, we have got one of our hosts here that's on Atlanta Live, Sandra O'Neill. Right. And uh, come right on up here, girl. And you came in this morning, and you're on the prayer line and everything, and we appreciate you coming. Thank we you. have hosts in here. We have people that have their own programs. And so um, it's time for you right now yeah. to share from your heart, Sandra, and just Thank let you, the Ms. Lord Betty. use you right now. You know, God is mighty, and in this prayer room, it's a holy presence. And I'm just so delighted and honored to be among uh, these prayer warriors, leaders, and prayer partners, and most importantly, to pray for our nation, for our country, for unity, for love. You know, as I think about what the word means to me, it's in Hebrews, and it says, 
the radiance of God. You know who the radiance of God is? It's his son, Jesus Christ. And he is the radiance, the glory that lives within us. And if it wasn't for his son, Jesus Christ, to give for God, to send his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, none of us would be here. Is that correct? So I am so delighted to be here. Prayer to me is so important. It builds our faith. It, be, it builds our love for God. And, you know, he didn't leave us here orphans. We're here with the Holy Spirit. We're here filled with him once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And um, I am just delighted to be here. Prayer, prayer partners are here waiting. I have shared uh, WATC's live feed on my personal Facebook. I encourage you to do the same thing in your personal Facebook. Share with all of your friends. Unite with us to pray to our holy God for love, for unity. Get these telephones just ringing and ringing and ringing because ringing, we have many people here just ready and willing to take your calls and lift up the power you know god he has so many awesome names he's jehovah shama that means he is with us he is here in this room we feel his presence he is uh, jehovah jireh he is our provider whatever you are missing whatever you are lacking he is already there on the other side and if you don't feel him if you don't feel his presence know he is with you walking with you he is also our healer right he has healed me from many things most importantly I battled infertility for such a long time but glory to God he was already there during our 13 year of desert experience God is there and um, he is faithful to um, he's got the confidence just like we heard in 1 John 5 14 if we ask anything according to his will he hears us call upon the name of the lord and he it will be there for you and if you do not know our lord jesus christ as your personal lord and savior we are here as well because once you know him you are part of our extended family and god hears us he guides us he um, just walks through life with us and we want you to experience the glory of eternal life and as i think about our nation our country on this national day of prayer i think how blessed we are to live in a country that god has blanketed with his favor and you know when i think about god's favor what is it really it's his presence that surrounds us and blankets us and god we just ask you that you forgive us for our sins you forgive us for what we have done wrong for self-pride for what we are doing and we're turning away from you father we ask you that if we are doing that that we may come back and fix our eyes towards jesus towards you so you can heal our country because you know what we are one family in the body of God and he is guiding us and loving us um, I am just so delighted to be here Miss Betty um, and I just want to welcome you back to um, yes. the prayer room and thank you for letting me share my heart oh yes oh, and what a great testimony that was my God thank that's you. wonderful oh and all of you at home have got a testimony if you have a healing testimony please call that number 770-300-9828 and give us that praise report we want to share it with the people today so don't forget that what's going to happen next betty okay we're fixing to go off the air as far as live but we're still here we'll be back here at 10 o'clock live but in the meantime we've got the prayer partners here we want you to keep calling because we have got enough people here to take care of every need that you have to pray for and so now is your time now is the day of salvation if you don't know jesus hey Pick up that phone. We are your connection to him today. Amen. So call people while we're uh, praying here. You pray at home. Don't change your dial. Be sure don't change your dial because we'll be back just before you know it. You go get your bite to eat. That's all. And then you come right back and you're going to be coming right here because if you miss one of these times, you may miss the one where you really need to hear it. All right. They're telling me it's just about time for us to get out of here for right now. So here's the numbers. Write them down again. 770-300-9828 and 1-800-810-5950. Be back with you at 10 o'clock. Be here and you be there.
All right. And the email, prayer at WATC.TV. And we are on Facebook Live all day when we're on hour to hour. Okay? It's been great. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, all of you prayer partners are here right now. Oh, it's wonderful. God still hears and answers prayer. Aren't you thankful that we know him and he knows us? Amen. Praise God. I'm glad he saved me and I am ready to go. Are you? That's the main thing. Are you really ready to go? Amen. That's it. Amen. All right. We'll be back with you right in a short time. Don't go away. <laughs>